times and I'm not gonna lie a lot of on that road a lot of towns I went into I didn't have hardly that much gas I, I would cut my moat off and save gas and coals down the hill in some kind of way every time I go into a town I would meet somebody that guide me to somebody to where I could play my one man band I like an Alabama woman <laughs> it might sound kind of crazy but I told her the pawn shop man. I said, man, every time I pawn my guitar in your pawn shop, when I get it and take it home and play it, like it sound more bluesy. <laughs> <laughs> the music is something that's always been around me. Even when I used to pick cotton in the fields, I would take a little cotton stalk. And I was about seven, eight years old and be in my mama's cotton sack. And I would, and I had a guitar, you know. I had so much faith in the good Lord and we were raised in a church and we always had hope regards how hard things might look for you, but you believe in the supreme being, he would make a way, some kind of way. And uh, it seemed like he did. Kitchen smelling good. House clean up. Turn out there in the streets, join yourself a look. Join yourself a look. Mom, I don't know what to do. I said, my band's been lazy on me. They won't practice. They won't be on time. And I would loan them money to get the clothes, the cleaners, and the vans. And they just worried me. I said, and the people don't want to hire me. They don't want to hire me because my band is not dependable. And she said, baby, she always called me baby. I don't care how old I was, I called me baby of the family. And to her, I'm always a baby. You're never grown when you're the baby of the family. I talked to her, and she said, son, said, if they don't want to do right and be on time, Said, don't you stop playing. I said, you play that guitar if you have to play by yourself. If I can help somebody, if I can show somebody he's traveling wrong, if I can cheer someone with a word of song, then my living is not in vain. I believe that. Thank you.